Okay, well, I have another bit. You ready? Yes, please. I'm going to let you get ready. Here we go. <sighs> You're always an optimist, Andrew WK. I'll give you a topic, and you spin it positive. All right. <laughs> okay, here we go. Fox News Network is the most popular news network in America. That's already a positive thing, though. What, what, do, you, what do you mean, spin that positive? <laughs> Boom! If you said it was the, the lowest ranking, then I could try to find a way to, to right. see something in that. Jeff. Like CNN, right? That's the lowest ranking one? Is that true? I don't know. I, th- I, heard, don't have someone, that I heard Fox News saying that, probably, so who knows what the, ca- the truth is. Well, I would say, hey, well, you know, at least... At least you're you're number one at not being the number one, and there's always someone that will embrace the underdog, and that's a chance. And also, you can't get any lower, so it's a chance to build back up. This is what you're saying to CNN. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very nice. It's a fresh start. Pressure's off. Who's a nice guy? You're very nice to see that. So thank you. I know. Okay. I uh, let's see. Jeb Bush will probably be our next president. These are from the internet. Uh, well, again, I don't really know how to say if it's negative. But it would be like, I cut my wrist very, very badly by accident. I say, okay, well, you know, there's a way to think of this as positive. <laughs> You're, you know, if you don't cut the other one, you probably won't die. <laughs> Brilliant. You know, uh, here's a chance to have a, a, potentially have a suicidal experience without having to go all the way can relate to other people that have actually be, been in these, these kinds of situations, have some solidarity with that. If it hurts a lot, here's another chance to you know, embrace what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So, you know, ride the pain out and, and be glad that, that, that you didn't cut your whole leg off or your whole hand off. You know, there's always a silver lining in those situations. Uh-huh. Something like Jeb Bush, that, that's too abstract. It's abstract. That's good. You nailed it. You nailed it. You nailed it. Okay. I'm gonna, I have a follow-up question. Because of that question, I'm going to ask later. Okay, here we go. Back into the bit. There are six million people in jail for marijuana. I don't know if that's true. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, right? More weed for everyone. Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, the only thing I could think of that might be positive about that would be that you get to, you know, it's like living in a in a, in a very crummy hotel for free for a very for however long. <laughs> But that I don't. I think most people don't want to be in there. Uh, and that I think actually that's that 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 situation maybe has gotten so out of hand that that's actually helped to motivate some of the drug legalization processes that have begun over the last few years. Uh, so that's a good spin. It had to get that's that bad spin. maybe for people to realize I like it. They're how on board. Uh, They're absurd on board. it had gotten, how much the system was being abused. Got to get bad to get good. Well, unfortunately, is that a song? Like that. Is that a song that maybe we'll sing later together? Maybe so. <laughs> okay. There is an island in the Pacific Ocean made of plastic two times the size of Texas. Um, well, yeah, just hold on to those bags. They really work well. They really, really do. Uh, you know, I saw uh, by my house on, on Broadway, they have built these uh, recycled tire sculptures as part of the city's ongoing public art uh, projects. And this artist works with recycled tires in, in, in weaving them in, 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 in rather large structures. And then now they're decorated with, uh, with plastic bags woven in. And it, it, it has an interesting look. It looks like garbage, but very intentionally placed. So maybe that island could be looked at like very intentionally placed garbage, and if it solidifies enough, maybe it could actually be usable as a landmass. Boom. I mean, I don't know. It's either art or a new home for a lot of people. Yeah, or scoop it up, you know. Scoop it up. Scoop it up. That's a good like. Uh, fish it of, out. Yeah, well, fish it out and scoop it up. Both of those are good like slogans for like clean up the ocean. Scoop it up, <laughs> fish it out. Like yeah. on shirts. You see it, you know. And the tide is always working to do that itself. It's always pushing. Say, get this out of here. You know, yeah, the, the foam, <laughs> all that foam and uh, the bits and pieces. They always wind up on the beaches. So it's, it's got its own filtration system. It, it seems. does. It does. 